Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt. Playing some more Ocarina of Time. Just got a new key going through a door here in the Water Temple. Ooh, the boss key! So I can get to the boss level, but I haven't found the dungeon map. I can literally just fight the boss. Okay. Ooh, a red fairy. Let me catch it in a jar since I lost the last one. Since I... Since I died. Come on, come back. Here it comes. Alright, got that red fairy. Good. You know, I don't even care about the dungeon map at this point. I'm just gonna fight the boss. So, it looks like there's a single treasure chest that I have not gotten. And it says it's on the third floor, which is the top floor. I have no idea how to get to it. So, you know, I don't really care. I can fight the boss, therefore I will fight the boss. Kitty, don't even touch my mouse. I know, cat and mouse, right? Alright, well, I'm gonna head to the boss, since at this point I can, even though I don't have the dungeon map, but whatevs, it's all good. I hate this temple, and I'm ready to be free of it. And then I can do the Shadow Temple. The Shadow Temple is a little bit more linear than this. Uh, in a, a few ways, it's harder. But, you know, it's at least I don't have to work in, like, three dimensions this way. Alright, whatever. Let me just put my boots on, my iron boots. And I believe I set everything all the way up to the highest level. So I should be able to just float all the way up to the very top. Yep. And I can use the boss key to get through the boss door. Let me just float up nice and easy. Alright. Yep, so I can long shot all the way to this other side here. Ah, oh, come on, hit the target. Ah, oh, go away, you dumb tectite. Oh, I'm not in the mood. Alright. Alright. There's a red fairy. I already have bottles full of red fairies, so I'm just going to use this to get to max health. There we go. Alright, so there's just a regular door. Alright, there's a ramp with these uh, spiky spikes. So let me just get to the top. Urgh, get up above those spikes! Oh, I fell. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, I'm up at the top of the ramp. There's the boss door. I'm gonna save here. So this boss is a little difficult, but it's not too bad. Link, look out! That isn't normal water over there. Yeah, so the water is kind of a weird, it's like cerulean, iridescent blue color. And so I'm in a room that's, think like a ring. So, um... There's just a ring of walkways around the pool, and there's spikes all around the edges of the wall. And then there are four pillars inside the pool. So let me go ahead and stand on one of the pillars. And this is where the boss comes. So there's something in the water looking at me. I'll let you guys know what it is once I see it. Oh, it's coming to look at me. Oh, so it's in the water. Oh, it looks like it's still in the water, but it's at eye level with me now. So I'll tell you what it is. So think like, it's like a little, like, basketball-sized pink nucleus. Like just a ball. And it's, uh, it manipulates the water, so it turns the water into, like, tentacles and stuff and the tentacles come after me. So I need to I need to attack this this nucleus. So it's creating tentacles and it's going to shoot the nucleus up and out to attack me and that's when I hit it with my hook shot. Whoop. 
Yep, so I, I, I basically pulled it out of the water and I, I took a shot at it. So I have to wait for it to stop moving as it makes the tentacle, right? And the tentacle's gonna thrust out at me and the nucleus kind of comes with it. So this is Morpha. Oh, the tentacle grabbed me. Thankfully, I have two red fairies because this thing takes a lot of health out of me and it's gonna throw me somewhere random. All right, thankfully it threw me onto the platform. I've had it throw me into the water before. I wonder if I can hit it with my arrows. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna stay clear of it while its tentacle extends. Oh, got it! Oh, no, arrows do nothing against it. So I was able to get two hits on it before it went back into the water. And now it's forming another tentacle. It basically just does this over and over again. There's not really... Oh, it created two tentacles. So now I have to find out which tentacle it's going to go through this time. Oh, I got it! Awesome. This is really not too bad. Alright, it's forming tentacles again, made out of water. And it's cool because when I hit the uh, when I hit the tentacles with my long shot, it actually um, whoop, it actually makes them drip. It's kind of cool. Got it. All right, I hit it again. And whenever I hit it, the tentacles dissipate. All right, now tentacles are forming without the uh, nucleus even getting near it. Here it comes. Got it. I can usually only get one hit. In oh, another tentacle just grew near me. Even though the nucleus wasn't close to me at the time. Let's see. Is it still just making two tentacles or is there a third tentacle? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's making tentacles faster than I can really deal with them. All right, it's going up through another tentacle. Yeah, so it's staggering its tentacle formation, so it's... Oop! Come on! Yeah, it's harder to, it's harder to keep track of the tentacles at this point. All right, it's going to come through another one. got another hit in on it at least I'm hitting it that's pretty good and I'm staying on the exterior uh, walkways of this pool because otherwise uh, like I don't know it's just oh I killed it okay anyway otherwise it would be difficult because I would jump in the pool all right so the nucleus just ruptured and now the water is kind of convulsing there's a single tentacle in the middle it looks like it's evaporating through the ceiling, like the water in the pool is dissipating. Yep, the tentacle is evaporating. That is definitely what's happening to it. There it goes. Awesome. Didn't even use any red fairies. Awesome. So let me get that heart container. Yay! Alright. So let's jump into the light and meet the Sage of the Water Temple, shall we? Didn't even find the dungeon map, whatever. Alright, so I'm in the chamber of the Sages again. And I'm coming out through the light. And it's Princess Ruto! How about that? Let's see what she says. Link, I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, 
That's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the Sage of Water. And you? You're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha! Huh, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda. She's alive. I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. So she's giving me the medallion of water now. What symbol does it have on it? Oh, it's just, it's a six-pointed star, basically. Yay, Ruto awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Alright, that's another medallion in the bag. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Dang, I think I'm going to start uh, another temple here in a couple minutes. And now Lake Hylia is going to fill back up. And, ooh, I forgot about this awesome treasure that I can have now that the lake is filled. Sheik's here. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it. So I'm beaming back down to Lake Hylia. Did Rudo want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake, too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Oh, Sheik's going to do his whole ninja vanish. Yep, he's gone. Link's looking around for him. Oh, he's up in the tree at the top of this little island I'm on. And he jumped into the water and disappeared. All right. So now that it's morning, there's a thing that I can do. So since I'm at Lake Hylia, if I shoot the rising sun with an arrow, it's going to give me a treasure. But I have to do it from this uh, little altar right here. All right, so it dropped, it looks like a stone, uh, a red stone with an arrow sticking in it. So that is an amazing treasure, which will uh, help me out a lot as I move on in the game. And I'm actually going to do something real quick. So I got the fire arrow, so the, basically it creates flaming arrows. And I'm going to use my ocarina, speaking of that, to actually go back to the fire temple. Yeah, I probably won't start the next temple in this video, because I'm going to be doing this thing. There's a secret that I totally forgot about, and it's back in uh, Death Mountain. So I'm going to grab my Goron tunic so I can survive. Alright, so there should be a treasure here that I forgot about. Let me go back up this way. Use my hook shot. I should be able to at this point. Let me see. There's some rocks here. Let me see if I can break them with bombs. And there's a secret passage back here. Nope, I still need... Yeah, I still need something a bit stronger. Alright, yep, I'll do that later then. So let me... Actually, you know, I can. He I need to head to Kakariko Village. So I can do that from here, because I can go through Goron City. This is actually a faster way, which is awesome. So Zora's Domain didn't unfreeze, but Goron City is full of Gorons again, which is great. There's a side quest here that I can do, but I'm not going to do it until I've done all of the dungeons. Because I need to be able to access essentially the entire map, and I need to be able to warp everywhere. 
Uh, so not gonna do it until I am faced with the final, final, final dungeon. But trust me, it's a side quest that is absolutely worth it. But I'm gonna head back down the mountain. Yay, Goron City, it's happy again. I'm gonna get down the mountain and then that'll be it for this video. The music is so triumphant. I'm just going to take a shortcut by jumping down real far. Yes, I know it cost me a half heart of damage, but whatevs. Alright, this is basically the bottom here, so there's a cutscene, but I'm going to wait till the next video to do it. So I will see you guys next time.